Parametric models rely on a robust underlying sketch to keep from self-destructing when parameters are driven to differing dimensions. That same robustness can sometimes make it difficult to modify or repair a model. There are two powerful techniques for altering sketches for whatever reason you may need. To begin, double-click the layout sketch in the browser to activate it and take a few moments to analyze the sketch. A new design idea requires a span of 300 millimeters between holes and that the center of the circular bearing opening will be offset 100 millimeters below the center point of the square. Click the center point of the circle and you will see that it is horizontally constrained to the center of the square. Double click the 400 millimeter dimension and you can see that it is driven by the span parameter. When you click and drag the center point of the circle, it does not move. To make the needed modifications, you will need to use the relax mode. It can quickly be accessed using the sketch tools located on the status bar at the bottom of the screen, or it can be accessed on the ribbon, Sketch tab, Constraint panel, Choose Constraint settings, and the Constraint settings dialog box appears. On the Relax Mode tab, enable the Relax Mode checkbox. Notice that the first four constraints are not selected and will not participate in the Relax operation. These can be fine-tuned to match your requirements but should be left as is in most situations. In the lower left area, there is an option to preserve dimensions with an equation. Although it is not what you need, check it if it is not checked already, just to observe what this option does. Click OK. Now, when you click and drag the center point of the circle again, it moves. Because the Preserve Dimensions with an Equation option was selected, the circle is still constrained 400 millimeters from the center of the square and pivots about it. Also notice the broken horizontal constraint glyphs which indicate that these constraints will be removed. Release the mouse button, then click the center point of the circle and notice that the horizontal constraints are gone. Click Undo on the Quick Access Toolbar, then open the Constraint Settings dialog box again. Go back to the Relax Mode tab and deselect the Preserve Dimensions with an Equation option. Click OK. Now click and drag the circle again, this time down and to the left, and place it roughly as shown. Notice that this time, the circle did not pivot and the dimension no longer shows the 400 millimeter equation of the span parameter. Double click the parameter and notice that the relax drag removed this dimension's association with the span parameter altogether. This is fine because you need to replace the dimension with one that is aligned to vertical. Delete the parameter and from the Constraint panel, select the Dimension command and place an aligned dimension between the center points. In the Edit Dimension dialog box, click the More arrow and choose List Parameters. Choose Span and then click OK. Expand the Quick Access toolbar if needed and select Parameters. Change the 400 mm span parameter to 300 mm, then click Done. Now, add a dimension between the two circles horizontally and choose the Offset parameter to complete the modifications. Right click and select Finish 2D Sketch. Right click the connecting rod solid body in the solid bodies folder in the browser and turn off its visibility. 
turn on the visibility of the grill body. You now have a small rectangular grill in the window. Double click the grill sketch to activate it and you see that the sketch represents half of the final grill body which is mirrored. Select the leftmost line and notice that it has a vertical constraint and a parallel constraint to one of the slots. Click relax mode on the status bar and then add a dimension between the lower line and the left line. An over constraint sketch warning will appear. As with dragging geometry, you get a glyph showing that a constraint will be removed, in this case the vertical constraint on the vertical line. Click yes to accept and the Edit Dimension dialog box appears. Change the dimension to 75 degrees and click OK. The sketch updates to the new angle. Right click and select Finish 2D Sketch from the marking menu and watch the model update. The ability to alter and or repair sketches is critical to keeping your models healthy discerning or altering design intent, and updating older models to new configurations. Relax Mode is a powerful tool that will help you in those endeavors.